Ostomy bags aren't something you see or hear about much, if at all. But earlier this summer, two models exposed their ostomy bags to the world. Their hope is to raise awareness of how a little-known surgery is helping people facing all kinds of medical conditions live normal, productive lives. Now, Jamie, a newly formed group of women is spreading that same message here in Baltimore. They call themselves the Osto Beauties. Each has an ostomy for different reasons, but have come together to support one another and inspire others who are also living with ostomies. Remember we talked about the five that was Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At first glance, they look like four girlfriends just catching up on life. And they are. But these four ladies also share a secret that they're ready to share with the world. Just by looking at them, you could never tell. I ended up having a permanent colostomy. What I have is called an ileostomy. I have a colostomy and a urostomy. I ended up with my permanent colostomy. They're all forms of ostomy surgery, where an opening is created from the inside of the body to the outside to allow waste to leave the body. The waste is collected inside ostomy bags. It's definitely a commitment. I mean, right. we're already in, right. <laughs> you know. Right. Jerlene Taylor has had her ostomies the longest, since the age of three. It was the result of multiple surgeries and treatments for a rare form of cancer. I was ashamed. Um, even though they're not physically, you can't physically see them, but, you know, I noted there, and I'm, I'm like, can, can people see them? Can they notice them through my clothes? And, and I was ashamed. Um, I, I hid it for a long, long time. As an adult, Taylor learned to accept her condition through a mentor who encouraged her to start writing her feelings in a journal. That journal eventually became the basis for her autobiography, Pretty Girl Blues. I discovered by telling my story, you inspired the next person. And we just want, it's like each one reach one. And that's exactly what she did, eventually connecting with each of the three other ladies who now form the Osto Beauties. Their goal? To take the taboo out of ostomies and the estimated 700,000 Americans living with them. When they get together, no topic is off limits. So I had an idea. We talk about all kind of things, life in general, but I can talk to them about things that I've eaten or dealing with relationships. So you can, somebody might be saying, I got That's a not the We joke around about having a lot of first dates because you don't even know how you're going to deal with telling somebody new. Facing ulcerative colitis at the age of 27, Danielle Dodson had her ostomy surgery 24 years ago. It would take her nearly two decades to meet a young, vibrant woman like herself with an ostomy. I did go to support groups, but there were older people. I'm like, I can't do this. This was 1990. I didn't know anyone that had an ostomy. I had no idea how I was going to disguise this, this thing. Not only are we dealing with this, but we're living. On the flip side, Shantae McMillan has only had her ostomy for a little under two years. It was required after surgery to remove a cancerous tumor. She had the most difficult time of all accepting it. For uh, many people who have ostomies, the first thing they'll tell you is, it saved my life. I felt like it was a curse. Ultimately, it did save my life. I just had to change my perspective. McMillan says meeting Taylor helped pull her out of a very dark period in her life. I needed to see someone who looked like me, who dress like me, you know, so I can see it is okay. I've been reaching out to people trying to get that mm -hmm. support group. Completing the quartet is Trina Isaac. The stage four colorectal cancer survivor and mom of one is still undergoing treatment. She had her ostomy surgery in November, and while recovering in the hospital, she connected with Taylor. I was clearly in no position to help myself understand this. I needed someone else to walk me through it, and she was that shining light for me. Now their collective goal as the Osto Beauties is to be a shining light for others. The women visit hospitals, attend community events, and reach out to people online with the message that having an ostomy is an adjustment, but it shouldn't stop you from living life. For Taylor, that meant pursuing a lifelong dream to be a fashion model. At 46, she continues to model. With two eyes to be back, some people are like, how do you do it? You know, but when you have a, a passion for something and when you come to the realization that your sickness doesn't stop you from doing what you want to do, um, you just know that, you know, people are inspired by that. Isaac calls it living life on purpose. I know that I'm walking in my purpose 
And that's why I'm here with the Osteo Beauties, to let other people know that you can live with cancer and that sometimes you have to make the decision to live. And I think that for me, that's what I did. I decided that I was going to live. To learn more about the Osteo Beauties and their mission, we have a link to their website online that's available at abc2news.com slash infocus.